All right, ladies. Aren't we tired of our men telling us what we should look like? Don't we get enough from scrolling through social media seeing some girl looking perfect in her pictures that makes us feel insecure and less than? The last thing we need is for our man to make us feel the same way. Okay, now the only reason I'm talking about this, okay, is because of this week's secret letter. I got this secret letter from this woman today who's dealing with the same thing in her marriage not her boyfriend not somebody she just seeing randomly but in her marriage i wish a nigga would right i wish somebody would tell me something about what i need to do with myself okay her letter starts off by saying chris i'm newly married my husband and i had been dating for six months before we made it official and walked down the aisle I have been over the moon until here recently. My husband has been making little comments and hinting at my figure and shape as if it wasn't good enough for him. I'm not a big girl, but I'm not a stick figure either. One day he kept going on about it and it became so disrespectful, I blew up and asked him what his effing problem was. He told me that he thinks it would be, a, it would be good for me to get some work done. He says I could use a breast lift and a fat transfer. He even pulled up a picture of some Instagram model and said something like this. Girl, back. I asked him why he even married me if he wasn't attracted to me. He told me that he is attracted to me, but he could be even more attracted and that it could give me more confidence. I love my body and I don't want to lose my husband or my marriage, but I also don't want to change myself for someone else. Help, what should I do? Girl, you already know what I'm going to say. No, don't change yourself for anyone's benefit, okay? Never, not physically, not mentally, not emotionally, and damn sure not financially, okay? If this is not something that you have been contemplating on your own, then it shouldn't be up for discussion. I think the bigger issue is, is that you guys were dating only for six months until you walked down the aisle, okay? He wasn't ready. Right, the nigga wasn't ready. He wasn't ready, and I'm not sure that you were ready either, but we're focusing on him right now because I don't have much information on you, but he wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? Yes, there was something about you and you guys' experiences together that made him feel like he loved you, he wanted to spend the rest of his life with you, and he did. He said, I do. But now all of a sudden he wants you to look like some random Instagram model getting a, a nip and tuck? Really? He obviously does not know what he wants in a woman, let alone a wife. Okay? Let's say he gets this Instagram model, if he could, by chance. Okay, he gets her. He's gonna realize very soon, very quickly. You stupid! Right, she don't wake up like that, boo. If there's work that goes into that, there's hours, there's clothing, there's there's makeup, there's lighting, there's everything that goes into that that final image that he's liking on Instagram. Okay, she doesn't look like that. There's there's more important things to consider when you're talking about spending your life with someone other than the way that their body is shaped. You feel me? Right. And if he cannot accept you for who you are, how you are, then he is unworthy of you and he deserves to kick rocks. Okay? Thank you. There should be no hesitation in this. I know when we get married, we want it to last. We do not want to feel like a failure when it doesn't work out. But baby girl, let's say you get all this work done. You you endanger your health with this because plastic surgery is dangerous, okay? So say you go forward with this and he still leaves you. You you looking like a dime, you know what I'm saying? You got that Coke bottle shape and everything, but he still walks out on your ass and then what? Then what? Okay? So, you know what I'm saying? Let it go. Let it go. You deserve better. You deserve somebody who's going to accept you and love you as you are for who you are, regardless. So as women, I think it's important for us to be able to look in the mirror and accept and love ourselves in our natural forms. And if there's by chance something that we want to change, 
I, you heard me say we want to change, then we will do that. But we should never let a man, a woman, family, friends, anybody else tell tell us when we need to change something about ourselves. Okay. Now, that is all I have. I wish you the best of luck in this situation. I hope that I helped somebody. All right. Now, if any one of you ladies have a secret letter you would like to share, please hit me up at contact at chrisking.com and I will see you guys next week.